In this series of videos, I'll be showing you how to gather information when troubleshooting an issue with your Pi system. Whenever you have to troubleshoot an issue, either on your own or with the help of tech support, you need to collect the following. First, you'll need to collect the version information of all of the applications involved in the issue. Then, you need to collect the message logs posted by those applications. This video will focus on finding the version information. I'll show you how to collect the message logs in the next videos. I'll be showing you two methods. The first method applies to all applications in the Pi system as long as you're logged on to the computer where that application is installed. One thing to keep in mind is that your issue might involve more than one application, so you might need to log on to more than one computer to collect the versions. First, navigate to your Start menu. Then type the following appwiz.cpl This is the control panel applet Add or Remove a Program and lists all of the programs installed locally on the computer. All of the Pi system applications start with Pi. In this list, you can simply find the application that you're interested in and check the version information in the rightmost column. Another option that I would recommend is to simply take a screenshot of all of the Pi system applications and their versions, in case you need them while troubleshooting. The second method can be used to collect the version information of your Pi Data Archive remotely. For many Pi system issues, it's important to know the Pi Data Archive version but it's sometimes difficult to access the server where the Pi Data Archive is installed. If you have Pi System Management Tools installed locally on your computer, you can actually check the Pi Data Archive version remotely. Start by running Pi System Management Tools. Make sure that you're connected to the right Pi Data Archive in the Servers pane at the top left. Navigate to Operation, and then Pi Version. Here you'll find the version of your Pi Data Archive. Once you've got all the versions you need, you're ready to start collecting the message logs and continue troubleshooting your issue.